You know, I told a story back in the day about when I first learned never to look into another person's cell. It's probably one of the most important rules, especially going to prison, because those cells are their homes. You don't just peer into people's homes on the street, do you? So I learned rather quickly, to say the least, I had to swallow my pride because it could have turned into an incident, never to look in someone's cell that you don't know. Not only will the inmates get mad, but also if you look into a cell, sometimes you might see something you don't want to see. Something that will resonate in your mind until the end of days. If you do this in jail, you're guaranteed to get the wrong crowd following you. If you do this in jail, you're guaranteed to get a good game pat on the butt even though you're not playing a game. But with all seriousness, do not ever, ever do some shit like this. Unless you are trying to parade those cheeks. Alright, so like I was saying, don't ever look in people's cells, right? Well, also, this is kind of uh, the same principles here. In this video, you're going to see something go on in the background and something that this individual is speaking to with this old lady we're going to discuss as well. But don't ever peer into people's freaking video visit, man. That's the easiest way to get your head peeled back to the white meat. Hey, princess. Hey, junior. I love you guys. I miss you. Look, babe, see, I do have my ring. Don't tell me I don't. Hey, I love you guys. I miss you guys. Please, baby. Be oh, I got to pause it, man. Hey, this guy. I kind of feel sorry for this guy, man. He had to wear his ring to the visit because she was probably getting mad that he didn't have it on the last time. You're in an all man's prison, bruh. Tell her that. Remind her that you don't need that damn ring in the all man's prison. You know you're going to take that shit off when the nurses come around anyway. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. That guy seems like a really good guy, but look in the background really quick, okay? Look in the background. Homeboy to the right is walking into the screen. Homeboy on the left is pointing at the guy on the camera, and he's telling the dude to move out the way. But I want y'all to pay attention. Behave. I love you. Uh, I trust everything. I trust you and I love you with all my heart, my amor. Just keep thinking about me and don't lose faith, please. All right? Love you. <sighs> I know that's right, bro. I hope you got out, man. Better wear that ring when them nurses come through. Anyways, let's rewind it really quick, okay? This guy's peering into the freaking shot the whole time. The whole time. And they got net bags around their neck. And his shoulders, you're probably waiting for canteen. But just look, he tells the guy to get out the camera, but he's staring in the camera the whole freaking time. See, guys do this shit in jail. They're so desperate for attention. Don't do the weirdest things, man. If they see a good-looking girl on the monitor video calling you, man, they're going to do all kinds of weird shit in the background, more than likely, especially if they don't respect you. If they're doing that shit, man, and they don't leave you alone while you're in a video call, you should take that as 100% disrespect. Fire off on the easiest one you think you could win the fight with. <laughs> But yeah, you can't let that window get open. Don't let people come over there and start messing around and playing around with you, man. That's why I didn't play around in lockup, because people would take it to another level. If I play with them in the card table and laugh and joke with them, then next thing you know, he's going to be laughing and trying to joke and get up in my video chat. I don't play that shit. Don't get it twisted, though. I'll laugh and have a good time all day long. But I would never open up a window big enough for people to think they just roll up on me while I'm in a video chat and shit. You got to keep some kind of respect value there. Marry your ex? Or spend a year in jail. What would you choose? Yeah, I thought I'd let dude stunt on his ex a little bit. Let him get a little shine. Next up is something that I have done numerous times, but I strongly recommend you never to do it. I look back and getting all my tattoos, my shitty ass tattoos done, and man, I was pretty damn reckless at times. A lot of people, when they go to prison, they want to get tattooed instantly. It's cheap tattoos. You can get covered really quick and come out looking like a whole new person. Ain't gonna lie, ladies love them cheap, shitty prison tattoos, don't y'all? <laughs> they gotta have a little bit of style to them, you know what I mean? So that if they look at you from a distance, they all look good. But yeah, I was pretty reckless getting tattoos in prison. Man, I remember getting my whole neck done. It was summertime. I couldn't wear a jacket. <laughs> you know, so I was... 
only a matter of time before I got popped. I got caught so many times getting tattoos and, and giving tattoos that I was just jumping from block to block. I was getting caught so much tattooing in this one block, they wouldn't even let me bar or nothing. <laughs> I needed just something small to bar, something I didn't have or I ran out of, and they wouldn't let me get it because they knew I was hot as a firecracker. But first things first, you always got to know that artist. If you don't know the artist at all, you don't know his equipment, you don't know how he made his ink or anything like that, I would strongly recommend you never get a tattoo from him. You would be surprised what I've seen individuals do to tattoo ink just because they don't like the guy. And the dude don't even know that he don't like him. Hating on a whole nother level, dipping their freaking needles in the toilet with a turd in it, and then they'll start slinging it right on your freaking back. You get a big ass red rash on your back next day and wonder what the hell happened. Hepatitis in prison is very real. So take it from me, unless you make your own ink and needles and all that good stuff and then bring it to the artist, you better know that guy like the back of your hand because I don't trust nobody in prison, not even the tattoo artists. All right, so as you can see, it's a little blurry, but this guy's got his arm through the chuck hole. For anybody that doesn't know, the chuck hole is the food tray slot that opens up in front of your cell door so they can send food in in case you're on lockdown or something like that, send in the gas, tasers. But in this dude's case, his arm. Stuck his whole damn arm. It looks like the tattoo artist might be on lockdown. Or it might just be a lockdown block and they only let a few people out at a time. Let's go ahead and watch this quick little clip. It's nothing major. Work don't look too bad. I've seen much, much worse in prison. But uh, he's getting it in. The guy's at least wearing gloves, right? Like I said, they're on lockdown, but that just adds to the hotness. What really makes it hot is the dude sitting in front of the cell with his arm through the chuck hole for probably 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour at a time. He's sitting there with his damn arm, chilling inside dude's cell. Prisons and jails that I've been in, that would never fly. Master Control would probably see it and send word to the booth to say, Hey, get that damn dude's arm out the freaking food slot. Man, what's he doing in there? Go see what's going on. Then more than likely they're going to have staff coming into the cell, shake it down, find the tattoo gun, go get the guy that had his arm in the food slot, make him put his arms out because they already know they're tattooing. And guards do this all the time in prison. They'll see some fresh ink or something. They'll stop you. You know, they'll look at it. They'll be like, all right, that's, that's decent. And then you have some guys be like, man, that is the shittiest damn tattoo I've ever seen. I should lock your ass up for it. And then you have others that would be like, damn, that's some really good work, but you can pack your bags because you're going to the side pocket. And that's probably 99% of the time of what happened to me. They locked me up every damn time, it seemed like. Now, I did have a few other clips to break down with y'all today about what not to do in jail, but I'll save that for some future content. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Don't want you missing nothing. Now, before we leave, let's change up the pace just a little bit, right? Let's spread some joy, some positivity out there. And this is the first time I've had the blinds open in this room. It's overcast, but still, it's really bright in here. I just got my carpet clean, so uh, I kind of like it with natural light. I think it makes the picture quality a little bit better. There's some lonely, lonely people in prison. I don't think y'all truly understand the power of loneliness. It is treacherous, insidious. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get that human contact, right? To feel like you're still alive, like you're still human. Well, ladies, this is your warning. Please get your paper and pen ready because I got someone that you might just be interested in. Hey, my name is Garrett. Uh, my friends and family call me G. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. I'm 23 with no kids. I'm just looking for any female to talk to between 18. And uh, uh, I would prefer you to have like an open mind and a free spirit. I'm a bit of a hippie. I'm vegan. I like vegan. to do yoga and meditate. And uh, I'm just looking for somebody to talk to to pass some time. I have a release date in eight months, so... I'll be out there soon enough, so I'm trying to make some friends. All right. Well, there you go, ladies. Oh, Garrett G. Morris. Preferably 18 years old. He loves to do yoga, and he's a vegan. All jokes aside, ladies, if you want to write this cat, there's intel. Run it back. I wish you nothing but the best, bro. Your short time right here. When you get home and get adjusted, if you want to, man, come on down. Tell your story on Lockdown 23 and 1.